Hello. Well, today I want to show you how I nitrate my papers for making the paper cartridges. And then we'll do a little demonstration on why we nitrate our paper. We'll get into that coming right up. Well, for nitrating paper, what I use is this stump remover, and it seems to work really well. And what we're going to do is, in this container here, I've already got some potassium nitrate in here that I've used that we're going to have to uh, add some water to and dissolve these crystals back into uh, uh, liquid form. So. Let me go grab the hot water. All right, well, I got my hot water here. Now, if you were doing this and you didn't already have any in here, you want to do about two cups of water and about a half a cup of uh, the, uh, yeah, potassium nitrate. I keep wanting to call it ammonium nitrate, potassium nitrate. Okay, anyway, um, the water doesn't have to be real hot. Just nice and warm so it will uh, help dissolve those crystals okay we got that water in there we're just gonna use two cups and start stirring these around and get them all dissolved up ah, I don't know if you heard that or not we got some wild turkeys right across the street there. Okay, it's starting to dissolve up pretty good. If the water was a little hotter, it would have dissolved a little faster and a little better. Now, it doesn't have to all dissolve, but you want most of that crystals dissolved. It's okay if you have a little bit of powder in the bottom. What that means is you just have the water that you have in there saturated already. So, now after you get done with this, you want to leave this out somewhere open where it can start evaporating so it doesn't grow mold in there and get all nasty. What I did was I just set it in, on the counter in the bathroom and turned a fan on it for a couple days. <laughs> Okay, well we got that dissolved in there pretty good. I'll show you. Nope. Bug decided to take a swim. But anyway, it's... I don't know if you can see that in there or not. But it has a little bit of a, a cloudy tint to it. Then what you want to do is... I use coffee filters. Now if you want to make it... Make your cartridges look a little more authentic. What you might do is use the brown colored ones. I don't have any of those, so this is what I've been using. Just take yourself about four or five, depending on how much you plan on, how many cartridges you plan on making. And then just set them in there to soak up that liquid. And the reason I use coffee filters, you'll see a lot of people don't do this and they use uh, like cigarette rolling paper and things like that. A lot of those don't burn up completely. Well, these don't either. When you're using these, before you load your next round of ammunition, go in and look inside the chamber, make sure that you don't have anything in the bottom. Because I have had one where there was a little ring of paper down in the bottom and I had a kind of pick that out anyway and then once you do this just find yourself a place to hang these up I'm gonna just use my bike trailer right here you just drape them over the edge of the, the bike trailer uh, railings and we're good to go when those dry out, they'll have a nice coating. 
of crystals on there. And like I said, don't close this up all the way because you want to evaporate that. I'm going to close it up because I don't want stuff falling in for right now. And I keep my coffee filters in a cold coffee can. Now I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to. This is one that's just a coffee filter, not treated. Put that in there. And I'm going to bring you over here to the old stump and show you the, the difference. Oh, I hope I didn't get that. One. I got it wet. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to burn at all now, will it? And let me show you these cartridges that I made. That's what they look like when you're done. Um, I'll put a, a card up at the top up there, wherever it shows up, up over here. And uh, you can go to the video where I was making these. All right, well, let me bring you over here. Oh, sorry about that. Let me go ahead and bring you over here to the stump and I'll show you why this is so important to do this. Boy, those turkeys are sure going crazy across the street. I hope the uh, camera picked them up earlier. Anyway, let's see. Here's just a plain piece of coffee filter. And as you can see, it probably wouldn't do a whole lot inside that cylinder by itself because you would have it up against the wall of the cylinder like that but but now let's take a look at a piece of nitrated paper oh there's a turkey again see how that nitrated paper goes up There you go. And with that gunpowder going off in one big burst, that paper would be consumed all the way around. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I'll put up in the uh, corner up here on the info cards a link to the uh, video of making the paper cartridges. If you haven't yet, go down, hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell icon. That way you'll be notified next time we upload a video. When you click that bell icon, click all, and you'll be good to go. If you enjoyed this video, got something out of it, found it interesting, please like. Please share my videos. That's how we get the word out on things like this. So, Anyway, have a great day, and stay prepared.